in yesterday's vlog, I decided to venture slightly from my tried, tested, and true formula. And I mean, kind of do more of the same, but I got kind of sucked into this YouTube rabbit hole of like tips and tricks and ways to grow your influence with like fairly ethical clickbaity titles and thumbnails. Mine, of course, had to do with the wall storage solution that I have for the office. Hey, thanks. It's not a bad video, you should watch it. But I had myself convinced that all the tactics that I put into place was gonna gain so many views that I wanted the production quality to be like another level. So it gave me the bright idea to try something I know wasn't gonna work. Ooh, a tennis ball. Norton loves tennis balls. Ran over a bunch of dog poo. To, uh, to get back into the habit of not leaving gloves, hats, and helmets out in the shed with a heel on. Now, the mistake I made was believing that I could ever trust this thing and this thing to play nice together ever again. What I wanted to do, especially after all of the research where it's like, okay, where it's like, okay, here are key phrases you should use. Here's a subject that probably a lot of people would be interested in. Here's like a, a video with information and nothing really else in it. Yes, okay, everything's good here, but I want it to sound good. I don't want it to sound like trash, like, you know, and I don't want to have to be wearing this, and, you know, all that stuff. Stuff that I would tell anybody else who is like thinking about getting into vlogging or YouTubing or anything like that to not worry about, like, use what you've got, use what you know, which is this right now, so that you can make the best quality piece of content that you're capable of with the equipment available. Now, this camera, this camera has given me issues ever since I assume it's this crash right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. I might've broke a camera, but. With the microphone jack and any microphone that I plug into it. This is, this is my old camera. Um, this, this is, this is it with the Rode mic plugged in. Um, I assume, I assume you can hear the noise that's going on in there. This is super loose. Like this moves around like crazy and I assume that is what is causing the issue. This is this camera unplugged. Obviously there's echo in here, the door's closed. A lot of sound bounces around but certainly more tolerable and editable in post. That's this thing plugged in again, unplugged. I mean, I can't hear it right now. If it's working, I'd be super, super mad. This is something I've known about ever since we did the video with, I think it was the Red Crux. I knew that this camera was kind of broken and I've tried on like a couple occasions to try and remedy the problem. Some have worked, others better than others. I thought I had myself convinced that if I left it here like this, didn't touch the viewfinder, didn't flip the screen out, didn't touch the camera too much, that it would not disturb the jack area and there would be zero interference noise. That was kind of what I had discovered with a few tests before I started shooting the wall storage bike mount video. And I was like, okay, I think I've got this. And then when I dropped everything into the timeline and started listening to all of the dialogue absolutely destroyed by that clicking background noise, that was, that was kind of the moment that I realized, why would I ever trust that? So that kind of becomes a frustrating part of like 
trying to, to daily vlog. I, I could have just not uploaded, I guess. But I think I did like an okay job of fixing the absolutely destroyed audio that it was a somewhat watchable video and a fun experiment. We'll see, uh, we'll see how that video progresses into the coming week. I just ordered a new Canon M50 to replace this one with a non-broken jack. From all the bad reviews that I've read of the VidMic Go, even with a non-broken audio jack, we would still have issues. So I've ordered the nicer version of that microphone. Here's hoping that audio quality here and the shed just, just go up, you know, substantially. Anyway, long story short, that's why the audio in yesterday's vlog wasn't very good. This microphone sucks. This camera's audio jack is kind of broken. That won't be a problem into the future. Probably the most that I'm asked about the most is gloves. More specifically, since I've gotten these, these gloves. And I don't know why, it could just be the fact that they're black with like, I'm pretty bad for wind riding to like talk with my hands a lot. And these have like the white right here. So yeah, they stand out quite a bit. I'd hate to promote these at all because they're no better or worse than any glove I've ever worn, but they're Fox Rangers if that, if that means anything for you. I have a hard time ever recommending a pair of gloves because I find they're all very, very dainty and they all fall apart really easy. For example, this hole that has developed on these not overly old Fox Rangers that I don't use very often because I hate wearing gloves. Yet here I am digging out my sewing machine to fix the sewing job of a huge company. That should be good for the next, I don't know, probably week when another one of these, when another one of these seams rips for some reason. See, this is kind of why I have like a hard time recommending stuff like this. Because it seems like for some of this stuff, you spend a bunch more money on something expecting it to either last or perform better, um, only, only for it to, only for it to fail in the same way, there's a rip right here, on a glove that is a complete and utter fraction of the cost of these. This is obviously like a pretty small example of that, but it is a, a good example of the reason that I'm generally nervous about any purchase that I decide to make. And typically why I put either A, a lot, a lot of thought into something that I'm considering buying, or we'll try and recycle, uh, reuse, or do something in a possibly more budget or cheaper way. Okay, I feel like if I keep going, I'm just going to keep being negative about everything around me. So we'll do this all again tomorrow. And then by the end of the week, hopefully with some good audio.